so much cardboard, I can't cope. And we just clean this with washing machine stuff because I saw on TikTok that you need to do that when you move somewhere new. We've got a coffee table coming tomorrow. We obviously need some pillows and like some art or like a mirror there. I'm filming from my new bedroom in my new flat in London and I'm so happy to be here. We've just spent the last two weeks just sorting out all my stuff, preparing to move from Jersey to London. And we got here and it's only part furnished so we had a bed and a couch and we've literally had to start from scratch with everything else. We have been living in a cardboard jungle. It was really chaotic and we're still settling in. There's loads of bits that we don't have, but we're mostly sorted with like all the essentials and all the stuff we need to just make it a livable space. I never thought that too much storage would be a problem that I would have in my first flat in London, but I am blessed because I have this huge wardrobe next to me here. And then I have underbed storage, which is where I keep all my stock from my mum's house for selling on Yusuko and Depop. All my spring summer wardrobe is packed away right now. And so I just have autumn winter stuff out at the moment. There's no real method as to what I have on my rail and in the cupboard. I just sort of freestyled a bit there. So I'm going to give you a wardrobe tour, but it's only really about one seventh or one sixth of my wardrobe and if you guys like this video then i will maybe film more and show off more of my wardrobe but for now i'm just going to show you what's on my rail also if you follow my tiktok or my instagram you will have seen that i have this skims outdoor mid thigh bodysuit and i love it i'm obsessed skims quality is just like unmatched and the fact that i'm wearing it with yeezys and this like pablo necklace just shows what an embarrassing keeping up with the Kardashian stan I am. So this is what I'm gonna go through in this video, this whole rail, and just on the floor here, I have some of my shoes. I've got these Topshop clog heels, and I love them, I think they're sick, and they're my size, and they're from my mom's house shock, so I'm gonna keep them for now. Then I have these Jeffrey Campbell cowboy boots, which are the moment, they are iconic. I have never been able to wear them because they get stuck in my car and I'm just kind of hoping that I lose a few pounds so that they fit because I'm obsessed. Then I have these 80s shoes that I got on Vestia Collective. These boots that I got on Depop that are just divine. I love them. I'm obsessed with those and they're so comfy to walk in. Then I have these little cowboy boots that Ariat, Ariat, I don't know how you say it. All the Americans were making fun of how I said it in my TikTok about it. Um, they're super nice and they're perfect for like if you have like wider legs and wider feet and they're just a dream and I think they go with so much and they look so cute with like dresses and stuff in summer and then I just have those chunky vegan Dot Martens. I'm just gonna start from left to right, light to dark and we'll just go from there. This is a macrame bag that my boyfriend's brother's fiance made for me and it's so nice but the holes are quite big and when you put anything that's like quite weighty in it, it falls through. So I kind of just use it as decoration because it looks kind of cute on the front of my rack and you can see it just as you walk in. Then I have this Hobbs bag, which I found in my mum's house. I think she said it was pony skin. I'm not against like animal skin, like leather and like I've got a cowhide rug in my room. So long as they're vintage and like secondhand. Then I have this super large cold laundry scarf. My boyfriend got it for me for Christmas one year. I got a few like similar type of white shirts, but they all are slightly different. So I'll explain why. This one is Paul Smith, I found in my mum's house. It's quite fitted and it's a little bit tight around my chest area, but I do love it and I think it's so nice. And the buttons don't start till like sort of down here. So it's a little bit saucy. Then I have this Sara shirt, which I bought on Depop. It's really nice and like oversized and boxy fitting. I bought it because I wanted that Jerf Avenue shirt, but I just couldn't justify spending that amount of money on it. 
and I knew I'd be able to find a similar white shirt elsewhere and I just love the way this one fits. This sleeveless white shirt we found at my mum's house, the brand is Art, it has no sleeves but it has like little wraps that wrap around your waist so it's super flattering. And then this shirt we've just found at my mum's house, it's Max Mara and it's got a really fine pinstripe and it's just super nice it's a large so it fits really good and it looks really nice with my waistcoat then i have this zara dress which is so flattering it's the only piece of fast fashion i bought in 2020 after i started my podcast and i've honestly worn it so many times since and i love it and i always wear it when i go out for like birthday meals and stuff like that and i just think it's quite like a timeless dress and then it's like a cinch at the waist it's so flattering and i just know i'll keep it for such a long time and i'll wear it loads next is this white leather celine waistcoat with like gold buttons we found it in my mom's house I love it, I'm obsessed and I'm keeping it. <laughs> These trousers I bought in Mexico. We went to this pop-up in Mexico City and it was all like local independent designers. And I think her name is Cynthia Buttonclepper. They are so flattering, they droop around my shoes and they're just stunning. I think they can be worn all year round with like knitwear and jackets or in the summer with just like a cute little top or a bikini top and I love them. They were a great purchase. The next item is this off-white cord button-up jacket. It's by Noah Noah and I found it at my mum's house. Then there is this Ritsu little waistcoat thingy. It's so cool. I love it and I've kept it. It's from my mum's house. <laughs> and I have this Rain's waterproof jacket that's like long and it's got a belt and it's super nice. And then I have this Rain's jacket that I got in Hossegore last year. I just wanted like a little lightweight waterproof for Mexico and for France for when it rained and it came in so handy on the trip and I wore it loads and this one I've had honestly for years and I love it. Then there was this Gap shirt, it's got like fine stripes, it's extra large and I just love an oversized light blue shirt. Speaking of which, here's another one, it's Jaeger and it's a medium and I think I got that in a charity shop. The next item is this House of Dagmar shirt, it sort of buttons up only just to there as you can see like it doesn't go any further down um i just feel really chic when i wear it my boyfriend got it for me for a birthday one year the next item is this like tiered ruffle dress i'm not really like much of a florals girl but this is just super cool it's by resume which is like a danish brand and i wear it with my big black chunky boots and some chunky silver jewelry and like slick my hair back these trousers are by Kathy Alexander's brand called Chrysanthu. I had Kathy on my podcast talking about her brand when I first noticed these trousers. Like, I think they were on my Explore page or on my Pinterest. And she has been releasing really cool stuff recently, so definitely go check her out. This silk shirt is stunning. It's from my mom's house. The brand is Hipster. It's a really like sexy and flattering fit, and I just think it's super cool, so I kept it. Then I have this Zara cardigan. I got it on Depop and it's a medium. To be honest, I wish I had a small because sometimes I think it looks a little bit too big, but I love how bright it is. The, I have the poster girl Jetta jumpsuit in henna or burn ink or something like that. I haven't actually had a real reason to wear it yet. So if you're hosting a bougie party in London, please invite me so I have a reason. The next piece is this knitted top by Mini Hill Road Studios. It's got like a really cool cut out and like t-bar detail and i love it i've worn it loads if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen me wearing it then i have this blazer which i thrifted from a charity shop at home and it was 15 pounds and it was literally like everything that i've been looking for and it is great the next thing is this blazer the brand is ceruti i got it on depop from ophelia paris i love some of her stuff she's really good at like curating a really neutral feed and all the stuff she sells is like my sister's dream i actually really need to tell my sister about her page because she'd be all over it then i have this afghan coat which i got on depop for like 170 it was pretty expensive but i think afghan coats are pretty expensive they go for quite a lot on depop um it fits really nice and i just like how all the fur goes all the way down and around the trim and is on the cuffs. Then I have this skirt, it really needs a steam or an iron, it's from And Other Stories and it's got like a little thigh split. I've had it for like four years. Then I have this shirt and if you are a Daughter of a Hoarder fan and you have been for a few months or years, hi, how you doing? Love you so much. As you well know, this shirt is what I based my podcast cover art off of. I love it, it's like Shia and the brand is Millie Paris and I found it in my mum's house. <laughs> This coat is faux fur and it's vintage. We found it at my mum's house. It kind of just reminded me of Stan Studio and I loved it, so I kept it. <laughs> the next dress is this LK Bennett 
spotty geometric print it's super soft and like slinky it sort of just goes on the calf so i'm not sure whether to get it tailored and turn it into a mini dress it's got like a twist feature here so it makes this area look really good <laughs> this dress i have been meaning to clear the air about this on my youtube channel I said that I bought it from Wear It Happy Shop and I don't think I did, it was from Outsourced Clothing but because I didn't have Depop at the time I couldn't check where I bought it from and I thought I bought it from Wear It Happy Shop but I hadn't, it was Outsourced Clothing. I love this dress, it's so sexy and it's just really simple but it's just such a nice fit and shape and I've seen a few more floating around on Depop so you might be able to get your hands on one. This sheer dress is by Clan Clothing, I think I saw a picture of Iris Law wearing something similar and i have another top from clan clothing and i wear it all the time it's so cool it's such a flattering shape and just all of their stuff is really cool this dress i found it at my mom's house it's halt neck and it's like drop waist and it's like this slinky brown material modern girls on youtube were talking about how drop waist is going to come back in 2022 which i don't think is the best my body type because i'm a bit more of a mid-rise or even high-waisted girl because i want to make that waist look snatched and whenever i wear anything like down here it just makes me look a bit more rectangular this top is Little Joe. It's like charcoal gray cashmere and I found it in my mom's house. So I have the Jerf Avenue suit. I have the little mini skirt with the thigh split and the matching trousers. And I just feel like a major girl boss when I wear it. And whenever I do put it on, it always reminds me that I wanna buy more suits. Like I just, I love wearing a suit. These two dresses, they're from my mom's house. This one I actually wore. When did I wear this? It was in year 11 because my hair was blonde. My friend's mum was hosting like a charity ball. So I wore this and it's stunning and it was from my mum's house and then we found it again really recently and so I've kept it. This dress is Dolce & Gabbana. It was like midi length and then I had it tailored. It's pretty see-through. I wore it to Gay Times Honours, I don't know when that was that, like two, three years ago and thankfully it was quite dark in there so I got away with it but then I tried it on in the summer to wear to a different event and it is literally see-through which is fine because it kind of reminds me of when Kate Moss wore that see-through dress, but like I'd have to choose the event that I wore it to carefully because I don't want to offend anyone. And it's from my mum's house, I don't know if I said that. It is stunning. I think it's supposed to be lingerie. Then there's this Miss 60 knitted dress that has like a little tie-up bit at the back. It's really nice, I love it. It's warm and when I got my friend who was modeling it to try it on, I looked at the pictures and I was like, mm, I'm gonna have to keep that. <laughs> then I have this Tank Air bodysuit play suit. It was really expensive but you can kind of tell why the quality is amazing it's so thick so flattering again you could wear it in the winter with like a coat and boots or you could wear it in the summer with just like trainers casually or dress up with heels so it's such a versatile piece that i didn't mind spending that extra bit of money on it because you really get that back in the quality the last thing is this leather jacket i really wanted a leather jacket that was like a bomber with a collar and i went thrifting i went to every charity shop in the island and i could not find one and then i had a little look on depop and literally found this and it was perfect so i bought it and then i just have this little dolce and gabbana bag hanging on the back just so i'm not looking at black when i'm in my bed and it's from my mom's house so as you can tell a lot of the pieces on my rail are actually from my mom's house I love all the clothes I find in my mum's house, not only because they're like a little bit nostalgic, but also they're just super cool and unique and individual and they're all really good quality. And if you wanna see like part two of my wardrobe tour, then let me know. Don't forget to click that subscribe button.